The Heli Pilot was buffed in the most recent update to BTD Battles 2, more specifically the Apache Prime and Apache Dart ship. So we're going to be using it in today's video to see how good it is now. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. And it looks like our opponent is going to be starting off with Oban as their hero, whereas we're going to be starting off with the good old Ice because, dude, Ice on mine is absolutely cracked, especially in this bottom square down here. Literally, we don't have to upgrade it at all, and it can fully defend against grouped reds, which is super, super nice, okay? Because ideally, I would like to go for Fusty the Snowman here on round two, or even earlier if possible. Oh yeah, we're gonna get that juicy life advantage as well. Let's try to go, okay, I didn't have enough money for Fusty the Snowman. That is okay, so let's get him down now. Perfect. And now he's gonna be setting us some space screens, so we should even be fine against all of these i believe now we might have to go eventually for a heli and yeah that's definitely what i would like to go for i don't want to put money into this ice just yet and if we happen to leak a few lives here and there it's honestly not even a big deal because remember with having the heli within our strategy we can in fact regenerate our lives with the heli pilot's ability all right and yes the main objective for today's video is to showcase the newly buffed heli pilot with this 1.7 update and in case you guys don't know what exactly was changed to the heli pilot then we can go over the changes together right now so first of all the 400 apache dart ship rotors damage was increased from two to now four the 400 apache dart ship rotors pierce increased from 13 to now 20. the 500 apache prime rotors damage increased from two to now eight the 500 Apache Prime Rotors Pierce increased from 13 to now 40. The 001 Faster Darts also increases attack distance of dart attacks by plus 30%. And finally, the 020 IFR grants Heli Pilot the new camo prioritization option, okay? So with all that being said, will the Heli Pilot quote unquote finally be good in VTD Battles 2. And the reason why I put quotes around that is because honestly, even before this 1.7 update came out, the Helipi was a pretty solid tower overall. I mean, take a look at our current strategy that we're using as well, minus our hero. Heli Ice Village was a very dominant strategy back before the 1.7 update came out. A ton of players in the Hall of Masters used this strategy, and it's arguably meta on certain maps such as like Star and stuff, possibly even Mayan too, because dude, again, the ice is just really, really solid in this map. So the fact that it was good before the 1.7 update, and now the Heli Pilot's even better, it's just going to be even better overall. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And on top of that, we have the new hero within our strategy, Fossey the Snowman, and he is going to be able to help us out during these later game rounds and also buff our Isis as well. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, boys. Wait a minute. Let me go for the enhanced freeze as well on this ice here. And hopefully we can fully, fully defend against everything right here. I think we can. Okay, so we're sending space purples here, by the way. I think this is the play, to be quite honest. Okay, we don't want this heli pilot on pursuit, by the way. Always have your heli pilots on follow mouse. They work significantly better if you just target it yourself. It's kind of like the dartling gunner as well. You know what I mean? Like the dartling gunner, you can technically lock it in place, but it's better if you just do it by yourself, all right? So I went for um this razor rotors here. I'm not sure if this is the play or not, uh, but I'm getting a little bit scared, okay? So I'm gonna go for the ice shards here. And I think with ice shards, we should be able to defend against all of that because he sent us a ton of regen freaking space zebras right there. That got super, super scary. And by the way, he's got the bomb as his next bomb power tower. And of course, the village as well, okay, to give that bomb cam detection and also open as well. We've got the ice shards as our only camo detecting popping power tower as of right now. We could go for an embrittlement. And you know what? An embrittlement probably would be the best play for sure. Oh, don't die. Do not die, my friend. He ended up tower boosting, but it looks like he was able to fully defend. So well, well done. Uh, but like I said, I could have went for an embrittlement. Embrittlement is super, super good on this map uh, because of this square down here. But I also kind of just wanted to showcase this Razor Rotors a little bit. Although the Razor Rotors like wasn't even affected. It's the fourth and fifth tier upgrades that were mainly affected, you know? Uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to fully, fully defend against all this pink eco, by the way. We should be mixing in some pink eco, actually, right here, right now. So, yeah. Let me get to doing that. Looks like he's showing no signs currently of sending us a rush, which, of course, is nice. Oh, there's his final bomb power tower being the boomer. Okay, so bomb village boomer. Not the best synergy, but he can definitely make it work at the same time. You know what I mean? So, he's honestly going to be fine. And the good thing is, he does not have a tower within his strategy that he can use in order to regen his lives. Thus, this game won't be going past round 40, ladies and gentlemen. Because we, in fact, do have the life advantage. So, he's going to have no choice 
but to eventually rush us and we get to showcase this new buffed heli by the way some of these balloons are starting to push through a little bit we could also you know what let's go for a village here so first of all let me go for the faster firing because now that i know that i want to go for a village right here i can just cross path this with the radar scanner to grant my heli pilot the ability to pop camo balloons of course okay so that's exactly what we're gonna do although mm, i don't know guys i get sketched out with the heli even just against constant pink eco it, it gets really really scary at times because i just don't want to choke to something so stupid you know so i guess it looks like we're fine we're gonna have to watch out though for the round 20 ai mob as well uh, in order to defend against that, you know what? We have Fossey the Snowman to help us push back that Moab and just stun it in general. So that could help us out. So hopefully we're going to be fine against that. I did go for the Monkey Town so that we get even more money from sending all this eco. Ooh, wait. Buff the ice. Buff the ice. Buff the ice. I thought I saw a few balloons get by. And I just wanted to make sure that we would, in fact, be good. Round 20 is, in fact, here as well. Um, do we go for embrittlement here? Yeah, let's go for embrittlement. Okay, because that's going to be able to debuff this mob class balloon for us. And yep, Fussy the Snowman pushed that back for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's pop that down. Technically, like, we could really stall out the round here. You know what I mean? Okay, please be able to defend that. He's got Recursive Cluster. I don't think that's death. He actually didn't leak a singular life. Okay, that must have been desync. Because on my screen, it looked like he was very close to dying. Uh, but let's go for the Monkey City upgrade as well over on our village. Now we're going to be getting even more money from setting all this eco here. Ooh, Camel Rainbow AI. Okay, I went for the radar scanner upgrade just to be safe. And I think we are, in fact, in the clear. Oh, yeah, let's start ecoing two with Zebra Eco, okay? I think this is going to be the play. I, I don't want to kill him, of course, but with him having the recursive cluster, he should ideally be able to fully, fully defend against all of the Zebra Eco, okay? And by the way, I have not said this, but we are in a casual game. Reason being is because the current Hall of Masters matchmaking system as a whole, there, there's something wrong with it, okay? I talked about this in my last video, and I'm just unable to find a game. Like, literally, guys, I'm not even kidding. I'll sit there for an hour and literally not find a singular match. So, NK is currently off on the weekends, so there's really nothing that I can do until they're back in the office on Monday, okay? So, hopefully by then, it will get situated, but for the meantime, we have no choice I'm about to play in this mode. And by the way, let's use level 3 ability. Oh my god, are we good? Oh my god, are we good? Are we good here? Um, I'm scared. I'm gonna I'm gonna boost. I don't even care. Look, we're literally leaking. I don't even care. And it's so laggy for whatever reason. I, I don't know why it all of a sudden just started lagging. But <laughs> it does suck that we had a tower boost there. The heli bit, it's just so freaking sketch at times, boys. Oh my. We could probably even eco with uh, purple eco too, so... Yeah, let's get to doing that. I think we'll be able to get away with that. This might cause more lag, but at the same time, like, the game really shouldn't even be lagging. Like, nothing crazy is going on right now, you know? Okay, now he's going to send us purple eco, though. I don't like that. I don't like that, guys. If I'm being completely honest, I really don't like that. I really don't like that. Okay, snowstorm. Yeah, we're not able to fully defend that. We're not able to fully defend that. Okay, uh, I use a snowstorm, so I think we're good. We are indeed. What we need to go for now is actually the um, Apache Dart Ship, okay? So as soon as I can go for that, we want to go for that because it's not looking too off for us. And we're actually going to start slowly but surely, if possible, going for our Icicle Impale up here because round 26 is about to be here. Dude, it's still incredibly laggy. Again, I, I don't know why this is happening. Like, it was absolutely fine before. Let's use Big Squeeze here, by the way, because that Moab did, in fact, push... We're good, we're good, we're good. I'm going to uh, cross path this with the top path for the meantime because I don't have enough money to go for the MIB village as well, you know? So it ended up disintegrating that mob class balloon down for us, which, of course, is nice. Dude, this lag is insane, boys. Oh, my goodness. I might even just sell this heli straight up or we could sell embrittlement down here to have enough money. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's sell you. Let's go for Icicle Impale. We're not going to have enough money to constantly equal purple balloons now. But I just want to make sure that we're going to be fine against potential DDTs. Okay, this is not good, though. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm down bad right now. I'm freaking down bad. Constant purple eco, so we might need that embrittlement down there again to just help us out. So, yeah, let's sell you. Let's go for this embrittlement again. Okay, do not die to this. Do not die to this. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's actually kind of helping us out in a way that we're just, like, lagging this much. 
gives us more time to react to stuff, you know? So I guess that's good. I don't really know. And I finally pulled the trigger, just went for the Apache dart ship. Don't care. Now we know though for a fact that we're gonna be fine against constant purple eco and just the AI and stuff. Okay. And bro, I didn't even talk about this. Okay, so obviously I know that we have heli farms because we need to regen our lives, first of all. Um, but the reason being as to why I have yet to set one down is because we know we want to go late game, right? And we know this guy over here has no choice but to rush us before round 40. I'm thinking if we have a substantial amount of eco during these late game rounds, that's going to be more optimal and better for us in the long run than having heli farms, okay? We'll still go for a few though because again, I want to regen my lives. But eventually, too, I would like to replace them with helis that can do a little bit more damage, you know, because these heli farms, yeah, they don't do all that much damage at all. And we actually want to go for mainly a bunch of 402 heli pilots across the entire map. Guys, I over would by one eco, okay? But 10,001 eco, that's definitely more than enough. It's already round 32, so I think now is a good time to start just preparing our defenses in general, okay? So I never went for the Monkeyopolis, by the way. I don't think that is really necessary. Could we have? Technically, yes. Um, and that could have made us a little bit of money. But at the same time, like, I wanted to make sure that I had the Icicle Impale and stuff by round 26. And I was just straight up struggling to the AI, which is super embarrassing, okay? But we're going to, again, be spamming a ton of 402s across the map. But at the same time, we want to make sure that a few of them have camo detection. Because with the 402 cross path, they simply do not. And we need a little bit of them to have camo detection for specifically DDTs, okay? So we're going to make sure that we do not forget about that. And by the way, you know what? I'm going to go for a super brutal right here. I'm also going to go for a primary expertise right here to buff all of our ices. I went for the camo detection because I guess why not? We're also going to probably go for, yeah, I'll go for another super brittle, or not a super brittle, but an embrittlement up here. And then we'll go for one more final ice. This will be our absolute zero, okay? Okay, he's sending us a singular BAD here, which I think we're going to be fine against. I'm going to sell all my heli farms because we just no longer need these. And let's upgrade these helis right now. Okay, so a few of them are going to be on pursuit, but let's use a whole man here, okay? should be good let's sell you we could go for a special oh yeah let's go for a comanche defense as well okay or a comanche commander sorry i want to cross path that with the middle path and it looks like we're doing pretty decent okay let me go for oh we're good okay oh he's countering ddt's as well we're good we're good we're good because icicle and pale of course do bop let's use ice ability too as well kind of forgot about that and some of these are in pursuit, like I said. Okay, do we have more money? Yeah, we do. We have a little bit more money. We'll probably have to micro this again. Okay, let's get these on follow mouse. Follow mouse. Okay, let's tower boost this. Because it is pushing a little bit more than my liking. Not going to lie, a little bit more than my liking. But we're good, we're good, we're good. We have to micro homeland. So let's do that. Okay, we need a little bit more money. Let me sell you. And let's sell you. I don't know. Oh my god. I didn't mean to sell that one. That's it. It's okay. Bruh. Oh, God. Come on. Okay, we popped out the first BAD layer, so we should be in the clear with having a homeland defense as well. Oh, yeah, we can use the big squeeze. I kind of forgot about that. So we probably should have saved that for the fortified ZOMGs underneath this BAD. But we're good. We're good. We're good. He tried to send even more DDTs. Like, bro, that is not going to work, my friend. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, let's go for that. Get you on follow mouse. And I think we're doing pretty good. I can't believe I sold my absolute zero up here. I'm, I'm sorry, Absolute Zero. I could have used you, actually, a little bit, probably. So, we're about to pop off this lair, I believe. Come on, come on, come on. Pop that down, pop that down. Pop that down. <laughs> oh, no, boys. It's not... Okay, wait. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're probably going to have to actually tower boost this again, though, unfortunately. No, do we? No, surely not, right? Okay, one of these is, like, on lock in place. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, get this button, follow mouse. We're good. Oh, yeah, big squeeze. Yes, I only squeeze one of them. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We can just use Homeland again, so let's use you. This game is still going by so slow, guys. Oh, dude. Okay, we're back, we're back. Oh my god, now the game's like running way smoother. What the heck? Oh, there's still a ZOMG. Tower boost that, tower boost that, tower boost that, tower boost that, tower boost that. Move Super Riddle. I hope we're good. Oh my god, we are. Okay, I couldn't even tell what the heck was going on there for a second. But we ended up defending. Wow. We did significantly worse than I anticipated, though. That, like, took a lot more. You know what? The game is running very smoothly now. Guarantee that this guy DC'd. Yep. I was right. Literally right as I said that. He disconnected, bro. 
sometimes there's just connection issues. It's very unfortunate. But honestly, like I said, the helipod's performance was kind of underwhelming in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think about the newly buffed helipilot down in the comments below. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out this video where I could not believe the new hero can do this. Yes, Voice of the Snowman, he's absolutely cracked and probably the best new hero in Battles 2. So if you haven't already, go make sure to check out the video.